So welcome guys to the third video of the series where I will show you how to defeat all the dungeons in permanent liberty. And today we are taking a look at the Temple of Slaughter. And this dungeon is really popular amongst crossbow players. Because here you can drop the Rex Shimmerous Rake Bow. And that is the crossbow with the highest offhand weapon attack chance. In the first hallway, you will have to defeat all mobs to unlock the magic curtain. You will then glide downstairs and once again you will have to kill all mobs to unlock the mana fluid regulator. Once all mobs are dead, you use it to pump water in the area and you want to wait all the way to the left. Because here we can cut monsters for the first time, as only the monsters in the second cave need to be killed and not the ones on top. Once they are dead, you use the second regulator and this time you wait all the way to the right. Here you will only have to kill the shaman and the enforcer to unlock the next curtain. From the edge you will jump in the air and more. You are now flying and dodging all erupting lava and hanging cages. Right before your stamina bar goes below the indicator line, you will press space once. This will give you enough height to fly over the monsters without throwing aggro. In the next passage the tank needs to run up front and gather all mobs until he reaches the last stairs before the mini boss. For this mini boss no tank is required, this is why the tank can stay upstairs and just kite the mobs while the rest of the party kills the mini boss. Sorry to interrupt, but short self-promotion is needed. Currently, 91.2% of the people watching the videos are not subscribed to the channel. So let's make a deal. If you learn something new in this video, you have to subscribe. Congratulations, you've made it to the boss. To prevent any Acro mobs following, instantly turn left and jump into the water, swim two pillars far and jump into the boss area. After pulling the levers to dump water on the boss, he will wake up and the tank instantly needs to draw aggro with his aggression skill. The regular attacks of the boss are not worth mentioning. Just dodge them or heal through, they don't deal that much damage. Regarding positioning, you want to always stay opposite side of the tank, but be aware he has a tail attack that you need to dodge. If you're a bit more experienced, you can also stay sideways. There's one angle at which you can perma DPS without having to dodge anything. If you are the tank, you are the one that has to play perfectly, because you will get hit by poison spits and fireball, which you have to block. And the healer needs to make sure the tank survives this. Don't waste heal on damage dealers here. Once you're getting the boss fairly low, he has one last trick up the sleeve. He will go and stand still in the middle, where there is pylons spawning on the outside of the arena. You will have to walk to those pylons at an angle, and pull yourself up in the air. You will then be catapulted in the air where you need to morph. Fly shortly and then grab the second hook to begin throwing even higher into the air. From this height you are now able to fly into the middle and dump water on the boss similar to how the fight started. If you fail to do this your whole party wipes. Congratulations you have defeated Rex and can now plunder his chest for 300 dimensional contract tokens. Yeah guys that was it. If there are still any questions open just let me know in the comments. As always I will answer everything in less than 20 for us. Cheers guys.